Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and welcome to a very interesting tutorial. A little bit of music uh, tech here. I just downloaded this. This is called Sample Tank uh, from IK Multimedia. Of course, I use a lot of IK Multimedia uh, products when I do uh, videos and art, music and stuff like that. Like I have the iRig here, and I have the iRig keys, which uh, which are devices I can actually use for this uh, for this product. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use them right now. But I wanted to show you how this product works, the sample tank. It's actually a pretty cool product, which allows you to create samples and sounds. And uh, it is, you technically don't need much musical background for that. And I know a lot of musicians are going to say, wait, what? No, 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 no. But uh, it is, it is kind of nice. There is some self-sufficiency to it, so you can kind of create some beats. Let's say you're just uh, hanging around and you just want some simple beat or something like that. I'm going to show you a little bit about this uh, about this board here. Now, uh, I'm not going to do too much. Um, I'm not going to do too much creation because it's going through the uh, going through the PC. So there's going to be this latency when I press a key. Uh, it's, it's so I, if if I try to create a beat or something like that, it's just going to slow down. It's not going to work. I'm, I'm, my tempo is going to be completely off. So. But basically, this is the interface for Sample Tank. And what happens is, I, up on top here, you have eight different channels. Uh, the first channel, this is a, set up as a drum machine. We've got a bass, guitar, piano, uh, electric organ, uh, stuff like that. Uh, you've got your keyboard down here. You've got some dials to fix, you know, like attack, release, uh, reverb, uh, and overall sound and stuff like that. You have this little locking mechanism, and the locking mechanism is basically so you don't move around the keyboard by accident, because I'm using my finger and I'm touching that and moving around the keyboard, as you can see. So with that, I can lock it in place, and as you can see, I can make all these weird sounds. So um, if we uh, let's let's go through all the the bits and pieces here. First of all, up on the top left hand corner where it says song one. This is where your songs come into play. You can go up and down. You've got these squares up here. If we if we tap on there, um, the screen goes weird. But uh, you you got your your channels, all your different channels here. So uh, we'll go back and I'll say, do you want to exit live mode? Because this is live mode, um, as opposed to the recording mode. So we're gonna exit live mode, and the screen's probably gonna freak out. There we go. And now it's gonna come in loading the song back in. So this is where, where you can record. You have a keyboard up here and this little pad thing. This will actually change between keyboard and pad. It'll actually make all of this disappear right here. So if I go keyboard, there I go. I have two keyboards. And right now I'm on the drums. So let me just switch to, uh, I'll switch the piano. And as you can see, it grays. Uh, it's, it's not separate keyboards. It's one keyboard. But I can use I can two, use two fingers, as you can see. Uh, so I can uh, do some uh, polyphony and stuff like that without my fingers getting in the way. And then of course you have the pad view, which will then set up everything in pad view. So if we went back to the drums, as you can see, there's kick and a snare and a, and a hi hat and claps. So you can put together beats. Uh, up, you can record the beats simply by uh, pressing the record button. And then uh, if you want to loop it, you use the loop option, which uh, you, you can't see because my face is in the way. Let's move my, move my face. There's the loop. So if I wanted to keep that in the loop area, which I can adjust. Whoops, I'm adjusting it by the wrong screen. If I adjust it here, there we go. Then I can, uh, I can uh, change the type of loop that I have. And uh, if I want to, then I can flip it back and forth, but then I can record and I can play these songs, which would then be stored right there in the song area. I got eight channels, so I can record a drum beat, I can then record a bass, I can then record a guitar, I can then record piano, and I can change all this. Like for instance, let's say I don't want an electronic kit, I want uh, something like, and I gotta turn off the pad view, I want to change this to an acoustic kit. As you can see, now I have an acoustic kit right here. And let's say my bass, I don't want the J bass amp, I want a fretless bass. 
there I go. I have a fretless pa bass. Acoustic guitar, piano, we'll just leave all that. As you can see the changes that you can do from there. Um, you've got many categories. If you want more categories, just simply swipe to the to the right and you'll get some more. You can get some more sound packs. Uh, the, the, the app itself is $19.99, so extra sound packs. Uh, it looks like for $39.99 you can get all the sound packs. Uh, so you have that plus the uh, the original sound packs in here. Keep in mind, if your iPad, it, you'll need some space in your iPad because I think this takes like 1.5 gigs to begin with. And then you add all these sample packs. It's going to take up a lot of space on your iPad. So, um, all right. So if you're ready to play, uh, I did a little thing here. As you can see, that was a little thing. I'm going to turn down the, the volume here so it doesn't blow out your ears again. So now, I've got this is just a little thing that I did, and yeah, it wasn't perfect. Uh, it was just I was just playing around with it. So, but if you don't if you don't want to mess with that, let's say you just want a straight up beat, you can actually set these. That's what these patterns are for over here. Um, I can go a West Coast pattern. I can go dance hall. We'll just do dance hall one. And hit play. All right. Whoop, I'm doing that wrong. Okay. So you got to hit it. You see how it changes uh, red to a brighter red. And now I've changed to a dance hall one. Now I can go to the bass and I can go dance hall one and have something like that. And I can still bring in some no notes and stuff like that. Maybe bring in the piano and play the piano as I go. Or I can hook up to my iRig and, and do some piano work right there. Um, we can turn on and off the metronome, of course. Uh, we can then go down, up and down, everything like that. So let's just turn these off really quick. So that's basically that. Uh, next thing we have right here is this little thing right here. This is the pattern enable and latch. If we hit enable, as you can see, it switches the keyboard to these little play symbols which means if I hold down the key, it's actually gonna play a pattern. Now, if I hit the latch, it'll play the pattern and keep playing it until I hit it again. So I can flip back and forth to get a really good sound, get a really good drum beat, bass and, and stuff like that. And then if I just want to un, uh, get rid of the pattern, I just uh, go from there and change the pattern. Uh, from here, we can go from pattern to kit. Uh, so we don't have to go through this right side here. Um, and that's basically it on there. We've got the uh, tempo up here, up on the top, where I can change beats per minute down to the uh, down to the tenth of the uh, beats per minute. So if you're trying to match an album or something like that, then you can do that. And then this one-to-one -one right here, this is this is your timing. So it's uh it'll go if I hit play, you'll see as it moves forward, it'll go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. But if I switch it over here, now it's just gonna do the time. And then over here we've got uh, your si simple home, your account settings store, log into your account, of course, at IK Multimedia. If you have uh, if you have more uh, settings, uh, if you have restore your purchases and stuff like that. In the settings, uh, you can change uh, your, looks like a, some sort of attenuator. Um, you can do your metronome. Uh, the one thing that I'm, I haven't figured out yet, maybe, maybe there's a way to do that, and that is change the metronome sound. Um, I haven't seen that just yet. But, so that's basically the record mode. We're going to go back to the live mode. So now, with, with live mode... I can bring in different uh, different items. There we go. And as you can see, I can actually create some different patterns and stuff like that. Create a new pattern, put it into the uh, put it into the uh, different channels, and then I just basically tap and go from there. Uh, so we, and of course, if I want to mute that, all I have to do is just, uh, press that, uh, and let it gray out and go from there. We've got, we've got list view like that, or we've got uh, pan view like that. And of course, if we unpress that, we can go from there and then we can hit the straight up play mode 
and get something going. So lots of cool stuff on this sample tank, and, and this is a great way to sample up some uh, different sounds and stuff like that. So if I was a, if you're a DJ, then you can uh, create some great sounds from from here. As a musician, I can create a uh, you know a drum beat and a bass beat or a bass uh, uh, pattern behind some of the stuff that I'm playing because you know sometimes I do acoustic guitar and, and I don't have a, a band to back me. Um, what I really like about this is the shake. Uh, some of the drum sets. One of the one of the things is is the uh, conga or the bongos. I can go to the shaker mode and let's see if I can do this really quick. So you're not hearing that. Let's go back here. Now you can hear there's a shaker. And I'll, I'll bring the volume up a little bit. So now I can use this, uh, just basically the shaker, as I play guitar behind it. And because this is what I wanted, I wanted more tambourine. And of course, I think if I. I can't if I do tambourine, it's not gonna do anything because I'm gonna have to pay for the, the tambourine sound. But let's see if I can make it happen. Sometimes you can make it happen. But anyway, the whole point is that you know I at least I got a shaker, and this is this is exactly what I wanted in my background. So it has a little bit of fill uh, in playing. So this is sample tank. This is a program by IK Multimedia. You can hook it up to your iRig devices and uh, turn it into something more, excuse me. Uh, you can also get a uh, sample tank for your computer and do the same thing. So you can have, so you can create some backing samples and build up on your library for your DJing, for your music playing and stuff like that. Uh, I'll have the link in the show notes on how to get this software. So just go over there and uh, download it. It's in the app store and uh, check it all out. In the meantime, you guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Let's turn that off because we don't need a shaker anymore, unless you, you want a shaker. If you want to check everything out, go over to geekazine.com. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. This is the sample tank uh, for your iPad. And like I said, you can get it for the PC as well. Um, you can also get it, put it on your, I, your iPhone and go from there and create some cool tunes. Geek out, folks. We'll see you next time.